YouTube. Hello friends, hello audience. In case you're new to this channel, my name is Yannick Smith and welcome to the show. Today, since it's the summer season and barbecue is in the air, I will be showing you how I use the Zip Instant Barbecue Kit. Today, I will be uh, showing you how I set it up, how I get it going, and how I ensure that my charcoal bricks and briquettes are ashed over well. Stay tuned to see what happens. I'll be uh, trying out the uh, barbecue pork ribs. Uh, this is by uh, the Keg Steakhouse. I picked this up at my grocery store uh, freezer section. Right now I'm letting it thaw out while I prepare this fire. Let me show you how it's done. Now when you get um, your uh, your instant grill, you'll have to do some unboxing. It does come with its own stand that you can simply set up on a flat surface and place it like so to elevate it off the ground. Also, you'll find that you'll have to unbend the edges in order to remove the grill surface. The purpose of that is so that you can add in fire starter bricks. You can pick these up at a dollar store. This is the fail safe way to ensure that all your bricks and your briquettes those are the, your charcoal, are well lit. I've already done this one, but I've added the briquettes inside of it. And that's what it looks like with briquettes on the inside. All right? If you're going camping and you don't want to be disappointed, be sure and ensure you bring the fire starter bricks. This, this is your fail safe here, okay? And then once that's done, you set it up evenly distributed the briquettes, spaced it out. You simply just gotta put the grill surface back on and reseal it just like that. I would suggest you get one of these, all right? You get one of these long nose uh, flamethrowers. Find these at your grocery store as well. And that's what you're gonna use to light your paper on the inside. That will in turn catch the fire starter bricks. It'll in turn flame up and ash over your charcoal box. So now, let's get the fire lit. You okay with that? That's right, lit in the plate, lit in the plate. There we Two. go. One corner, let's walk around here. Let's get the opposite corner here. There we go. You can see the paper is just slowly being consumed. Let's light another corner here. As you can see, I got it elevated on bricks. And then this is the stand that comes with the kit. And you can see all my pucks underneath. I'm sorry, um, I should uh, rephrase that, my fire starter bricks. Fire starter bricks are raging right now. They're getting lit by that initial piece of paper. Ugh. Yeah. And it'll take approximately about half an hour for the coals to ash over white. And that's when you know the fire is ready to be used to cook. But you see we got nice big flames shooting out of this thing here. Oh, yeah. Bring you up. Yeah, come on. Look at the night, I'll pop me and go on. Let it go up, so some big and under the body. Look at the night, I'm going to get you with the night. All right. <clears throat> now that the coals have ashed over. You need to move them closer together. That's it. Well, it looks like my stick is a little bit broken. 
Yeah, move these ones from the far edges closer in. Just like that. And the reason for doing that is to have a more even distribution of heat. Nice, nice, tight, tight blocks here. Concentrated heat. Oh yeah, this fire is real hot. Real hot. It's hot. Voila, there you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see, I didn't click this thing off. We're still recording. We're still recording. Okay, wow. That was a close one. I almost hit the pause button, but here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it goes. On the fire. Pork back ribs. Charcoal grill. There we go. Yeah, so these ones, they need to cook through. So I'm just gonna allow them to do their thing on the charcoal grill right now. Let's go in for a closer look so that you can get um, some satisfaction on the grill too. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear any sizzling or what. This is what it looks like here. Mmm, I can smell that. Mmm, looks pretty delicious to me. Oh yeah, look at that sizzle. Oh, you see that drip? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks really good right now. I'm gonna have to tune back in in a few minutes, see what's going on, all right? Welcome back. Now I've flipped uh, the ribs on the opposite side. Let's come in and take a closer look and see what um, it looks like. I think you can hear some of that sizzling. So it, it's coming out uh, real nice so far. Oh yeah. I like those sounds that I'm hearing right there. There you go. A little smoker there, eh? Yeah, that's how I'm doing it right now on a Saturday evening. Because what time is it right now? What channel are you watching? Water after 8. Saturday. Excuse me. Saturday. Had a cold one, nice weather and everything. So what I want to do now is I want to adjust the coals of my fire. So just follow along with me as we adjust the coals to the fire, because this thing is coming along real nice, right? Really. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah. Just want to adjust the coals to the fire, because I noticed that. The freaking coals have uh, drawn down in size, so I want to keep my heat super concentrated. You know what I'm saying? Super concentrated. Yeah. All right. Let me move my utensils to the next side of the heat. Try to keep it like a little sterilization at the same time, you know? Try to make the most out of everything, you know? I lie. All right. This one here can get tucked in a little bit more. If I adjust my stick right. Yeah, yeah. Cook that meat. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. That's done. So we do it out here. All right, it's looking good. Look at that. Red hot. Reef tech. Oh, 
yeah. There we go. Beef tech. Wow, that is falling off bone right there. Ooh. Falling off bone. Authentic. BBQ. Coming straight to me. Well, this concludes another episode. I've used the remainder of my fire starter bricks along with my remaining coal to have a little campfire lit here. And I'm about to close out the evening with a nice cool refreshment here. Oh yeah, cheers. All right, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for enjoying my campfire. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and support the channel. Oh yeah, energy. Share. Peace.